the next episode of Baller City 3 playthrough. I pressed My the friends, button and the it didn't start recording. It did now. You only missed Let like a couple of seconds. Any who so. diminish our city. And you, honored guest, will find me in my office above when you return. Do not come empty handed. Yeah, we're going after Orin. Um Karlak is not going to be pleased about this. He looks the exact same as he did ten years ago. Fancy a coat, I suppose. <laughs> the Archduke of Baldur's Gate. What a sham. You don't really intend to be his ally, do you? Probably well, best to avoid making enemies just yet. Nobody doesn't need to know that. Nobody doesn't need to know that. Fair enough. Now that he's within reach, I don't intend to let him slip away. At least, you know, make it nice for her. Wait. In front, Lord Gortash. Yeah, it's not yet. Turn to Mizora. Yeah, she's gonna be like, what? You didn't bring Will with you. What did I tell you? A momentous occasion. I'm sure you agree. And to think the drama's just started. You see, Gortash has had Will's father relocated. I was fast about Gortash would have more use for the Duke and Worm truck. I'm just an impartial observer. This is Gortash's game. A murderous one, the way I hear it. Raven guards good as dead. And to think there's no way to save him. Or is there? You know something, don't you? Not giving up on the Duke, tell me what to do. Why? Aren't we eager? Let's meet Will in your camp. Work something out. The Duke's life depends on it. Okay. And everyone's just fine that the devil was here. So let's see. Yeah, we are going to need a rest What's next? before going after Orn. Let's move. Another step forward. I think. Yeah. It's crossing. Need something? I've got the tools for any job. Any job. Okay, any job. Sure looks like it. Let's just take a few. And... Okay, let's see here. We'll probably sell all of these. I feel like we're going back there. And yes, yeah, all these two. Water.
Catrix hammer. Okay, that's all she has. Whatever you're working on, hope that fixes it for you. Yeah, kinda. Up there, Danthelon's dancing axe, the harp of safe house to hear a Up there, so here. I don't think it is. Here we go. Is it here? Chiresses caress. Ah, uh, no. Is this a brothel? Or an inn, I guess. You can see over there. I love honey. I love honey so much. High class produce, no glut. Fruit, vegetables. What can I do you for? Trade. Yeah, let's get a bunch of uh, supplies. So we're basically running super low. Have a bucket. Um, sort of justice that. Yeah, she'll probably be wearing this on her. We need to check this. And yeah, this one can go. This one can go. That's fine. If you're hungry, you know where to find me. Well, let's see. This goes to her. I mean, I think this one's better. It even has eight, but spell save. I mean, you get a one level one spell slot with the other with the shield of devotion. And spell attack rolls. I mean, that's good. That actually is good. Robin Silt. You look like someone whose soul needs feeding. Care to buy some art? Some art. Oh, nice. Die remover. I haven't used any of this. So makes zero sense. Do come again. Shit. Okay. Ah, this is the the place, the archers. and bruised you come for sustenance no decadence decadence Again, cool as ice yet eyes burning hot oh yes i know your bliss 
A sturdy dwarf, a leather whip, she gives, you receive. Or have I misjudged you? <laughs> Not my first choice, but I wouldn't say <laughs> You're way off, I'm afraid. You know, talk about this. You misjudged me terribly. She'll need three costume changes minimum. Crave a performance. How decadent. It's Fion you seek, our stern librarian. She isn't here today, alas. Your penance must wait. Well, we've other ways to fill your void. A drink for one, a pair of drow for another. Choose your sin. The stern line will yours be back tomorrow. You have drow escorts on hand? That does sound tempting. Are there other options for a companion? Yeah, leave. Like Shadowheart is here, and uh... Right, I'll be pausing here. Eating dinner now. Welcome back everyone to another video of Baldur's Gate 3 It's been... It's been a while for me actually Two weeks since last time I played so I'm a bit disoriented right now Um... I travel... To the UK and uh my pc over there was without a graphics card so you know couldn't even record and if i did it wouldn't be in the same uh resolution as this monitor so i said yeah sure i, I got enough backlog of videos let's just uh start playing when i get back and here's where i am so i do need to do all of that um i'm in here i think this is the um the harper's um brothel i think okay all of our stuff is completed for the chosen shore Sharon Lookouts will be present in the vicinity. Okay, we might want to go to Worms Crossing. Um, and the slides for that. Bell Health. No, it's not him. Yeah, we got Cazador's Palace as well. Uh, Mizora asked us to meet her in camp. Okay, so we need to go into camp. Continue with Will's stuff. Let's not look at the completed ones. Uh, Gortash put for a proposition. If we call Orin and take her nether stone, you will let us rule the say Okay, yeah, we need to go after her as well. That's fine. Okay, yeah, that's all right. Uh, personal quest, free Orpheus. Brace you, yeah, no, I'm going for a freeing Orpheus. I think that makes way more sense. Um, rescue the Grand Duke, yeah, need to do that again. Uh, well, not again, but we did see it up there. Find Dribbles the Clown. Oh, yeah, we need to find the actual clown. This, uh, the other one, yeah, was a fake. It's probably dead, to be honest. Uh, but we came over here because, um, you know, the other one told us. Oh, I forgot our name now. Uh, that we should come over here. But from the looks of it, this is um, a brothel. What's Hooligan? Now, that there's a face I'd remember if I'd seen it. Welcome to Charesse's Caress. What can Hoots do for you, stranger? <coughs> you got a taste for ale, I reckon. Or maybe 
Ah, forget it. My new brew could drop you in the wink of a spectator's eye. Oh boy. Show me what do you have. You have brew sounds food and I'll give that a try. What's the story of this place? Sure. Don't know about that, chum. Hoots Hooch packs a stronger wallop than all ten of my knuckles. Could beef you up, sharpen your tongue, or knock you out cold. No telling till the first drop hits your gullet. Come on, give it. Yeah, the man knows what he wants. First one's on the house. So, don't come bawling to me if your big toes fall off or your tongue coils in a knot. What the hell? Look to see what else you have. Have a look. Ooh. Amulet of the Drunkard. While wearing this amulet, regain 228 hit points per turn while drunk. Oh man, this is... This is probably amazing for like a drunken style monk build. Utsuch. Like being decked in the sobriety. Okay, okay. That's good to know. Yeah, let's have that. And, um. Let's just add all of this because, uh. We can have it in camp. And, you know, I wanna. Oh, there's coffee too. Nice. I wanna make my, uh. Party, uh. You know, be happy. They can't complain that I don't give them booze. I know it's not a, a sailor party, but close enough. Got Karthak, right? Or is it Karlak? Oh, I forget our name. <sighs> Doesn't let me see the name. Yeah, come on. Should be a button for everything. See what can I sell you? Why do I have a ton of soul coins? Okay. All set, are you? Yeah. My business is slinging tankards, not hoarding secrets. <coughs> I'd like to mm. keep it that way. Really? But you poke some folk hard enough, they're bound to squeal. And Mamzella Myra there looks about ready to burst. Ooh, nice. You have the key First of all, camp supplies. Into camp. Just do that. I got this, but I don't really need it. I still don't know what to do with these. Like, I feel like I have enough to make something like a staff or something. Oh well. So where's Mamzel? Oh, it is her. I have something to ask. It's a dwarf you crave, whip in hand. Go on, tell me I'm wrong. Yeah, you are. But it's just me terribly. She only had three costume changes minimum. <laughs> it's still the same thing, isn't it? Uh, you're way off, I'm afraid. Your eyes tell a story, sweeting. You crave more than pleasure. You crave penance. It's Fion you seek, our stern librarian. She isn't here today, alas. Your penance must wait. Well, we've other ways to fill your void. A drink for one, a pair of drow for another. Choose your sin. No, uh, no, no, no. Are there other options for companionship? Oh, um... It's not what I'm looking for here. I don't understand why there's such a type for so many. 
queen rolled the spoiler. What? She's a queen? You can stare as much as you like. Oh, should I? Yeah, let's do that. Wait, where is the... Wait, what? Where is my uh, play a song? What did I unequip? Oh, let's use that spider slider. And pretty sure I can play it. Where is it? Ah, oh, there it is. Performance successful, come on, give me the money. Any volo tunes? Maybe, maybe, let's see. Would shut up. Enjoy the fiddling. Throw a few coins our way and let us play on into the night. Well, I can't uh, do a duo with him. Why is that? Oh, it's on the okay. It's on the outside. Give it a good rumple. I see, I see. They're all just horny in here. Oh. What is up here? Let's see. I don't think we wanna. You know, this belongs to the Harpers. Devil's Den. Oh, Raphael is here. I see. Really? He's right next to the, the Harpers? Not to my door. Not yet. But to the final reckoning. One more thing before we begin, though. What? For the first time since the Nautiloid, your mind is clear. It's unsettling. Did you just cure me of the tadpole with the click of your fingers? <laughs> Wouldn't that be exquisite? But no, I'm afraid the tadpole is still there. But I did shut out your other visitor for a while, so we can enjoy some privacy. Other visitor? The Lithid can't hear us. Ha. Huh. Oh, okay. What's the catch?
speak freely? Tell me why you brought me here. I brought you here because I'm true to my word. And I can make all of this tadpole business go away. Which means you and your lovely friends can remain blessedly free of tentacles. Let us speak plain. Hmm. I'll admit, you've impressed me. I wasn't sure you'd make it this far. But no matter how far you come, you're still on the road to ruin. A road that leads directly to a confrontation with the Elder Brain. At best, it will kill you and everyone else in this city. At worst, it will assimilate you, and you won't have enough free will left to even wish you were dead. You have the key to destroying it in the palm of your hand, though. What? The Emperor? Orpheus? The Astral Prism? Very perceptive. Yes. I can give you the means to break him free. Go on. The Orphic Hammer. An artifact capable of shattering the chains that hold Prince Orpheus is held securely in my House of Hope even now. It's very inconvenient that you have exactly what I need. Isn't it just? And it's even more convenient that you can give me exactly what I want in return. There it is. Of course. Uh, what are you hoping to get out of all of this? Power. You free Orpheus, and in doing so, save the city, the Sword Coast, perhaps the whole world, and your own precious skin, too. And you give me the crown that dominates the Elder Brain. Wait, wait, yo, what if he then knows where there is another Elder Brain? What exactly is the crown? Power. Ancient and full of wonder. I have craved it ever since the archwizard Cassus created it long centuries ago and brought doom to the Empire of Netheril. That was the great age of humanity and Netheril's flying sky cities were the apex of civilization. I was there the day it all fell apart. Entire cities plummeted from the sky like angels with broken wings. The screams, oh, the screams. Hundreds of thousands of people watching in horror as the ground came up to meet them. <laughs> it was not a happy meeting. And Cassus was responsible. Not driven by malice, but by ambition. He forged a crown imbued with all the powers of magic. A crown that would make any who wore it a god. Men cannot contain so much power. The crown destroyed its creator, and his empire fell with him. Mm. Cassus's folly, the bards and scholars call it. I call it... Hope. The hope of creating a better world and the perils of unchecked hubris. I knew then that the folly of mortals could be the triumph of devils and that I could use that crown to unite the nine under one archdevil supreme. Me. <laughs> Zariel wouldn't like that much. But even I'm not so desperate to spite her, I'd put the hells in this bastard's hands. 
Um, you make a fantastic Arch Devil Supreme. Makes you think you'd succeed in using the crown where Karsus couldn't. Why didn't you take the crown there and then? I am no mortal, Ooh. and I do not fail. Yeah, exactly. The arch devil Mephistopheles snatched up the crown and squirreled it away in one of his vaults. He is not more than a frigid archivist. So much power and potential kept inert. He made a miracle into a museum piece. I raged. But only for a decade or so. Then I waited. Ever watching for more than a thousand years for a mistake, a mishap, a misadventure. And these chosen who have caused you so much trouble accidentally did me a favor. They brought the crown back into play. It spits him off. Yes, it does. <laughs> Especially when I see what a bloody mess they've made of their whole scheme. They must have raided Mephistopheles' vault. Impressive, I must admit. But they'll be dead soon. If you don't kill them, the Elder Brain will. It doesn't have feelings in the way you'd understand them. <laughs> but it seems rather angry. It is inevitable. When you destroy the brain, and you will, because you must, the crown will be yours for the taking. And when that moment comes, you give the crown to me. In exchange, I give you the hammer now. Mm. A simple transaction, it seems, but it's more than that. He's offering you an alternative to the mind flare in your head. Take Raphael's deal and you could free Orpheus. With Orpheus free, you would have no need to rely on the Emperor. But there's no guarantee that Orpheus would be on your side. And if you take the deal, you'll have to fulfill it. You'll have to deliver the crown of Carsus to the devil himself. He claims his ambition is to unite the Hells, but can he be trusted to stop there? Do you trust him more than you trust the Emperor? So we're going This this is true. We're this but uh no deal, Raphael. I won't stop you. But time is running out. So don't stay away for long. If you see reason, I'll be here waiting. Right up to the moment the world ends. Okay. There you are. I thought I'd lost you. Something was blocking me from hearing your thoughts. Raphael. Well, thank you for your honesty. Yeah, but I do want okay. Orpheus. So. I should have known the devil would come sniffing. The stench of impending chaos is irresistible to them. And what did he want with you? Right, so... Hmm. He wants the crown that's on the brain. Giving a devil what he wants sounds like a brilliant idea. And what did he offer you in return for bringing it to him? Does it matter? I said no. I am glad you had the sense to turn him down. But it certainly does matter. Anything that threatens our alliance threatens our chances of defeating the Elder Brain. So I ask you again. Oh, for fuck. What mm. were the terms of the deal he offered you? 
Can I not do a roll to try and persuade him? Fine. Imagine a crown of sufficient power to dominate an elder brain atop a devil's head. You would be trading one apocalyptic event for another. Thank you for telling me. And for rejecting him. And now, we must be doubly on our guard. The devil is like a cockroach. No matter what you do to it, it will always come back. I doubt this will be the last time you are approached. I trust that you will continue to remember who is really on your side. Without my protection, you cannot defeat the Elder Brain. You cannot even get close to it, no matter what the devil whispers in your ear. Well... Is it really? Oh. There's another one here. Okay. Do we have to go through everything again? Okay. Fine. Let's go downstairs. Can get there? Really? Just leave. You know, I thought... Oh, does this... Please tell them there's at least uh, an entrance to inside. Yeah, there we go. Uh, let's just leave. You paid Raphael a visit. I want to hear all about Oh, how do you know that? Damn, Hoots. That new batch burns stronger than a pit fiend's fist. I'll take that as a compliment. Take it however you want. But I'll be having my usual from now on. Something's off about this one. On your guard. Oi! You must have slipped by me earlier. Raphael's very disappointed you turned him down. Who are you exactly? Oh, I forget, we've never met. I've had my eyes and ears on you so long we feel like old friends. Carilla is my name. I'm Raphael's assistant, shall we say. He's gutted, you know. Had such high hopes for you. Did you tell you to try and win me over with your charms? Cheeky. We might be in a brothel, but I'm not that kind of gal. You should reconsider, though. The boss might be a devil, but he'll treat you more honestly than anyone else in the city. Exactly as you do for him. Plenty. But right now, I have one job. You. <laughs> I'm talking to you openly, mortal to mortal, and I'm begging you to sign the contract. If the brain wins, the Illithid Empire returns and worlds you've never even dreamed of will die. Raphael can stop it. He wants to, and he knows how. You're the key. You always have been. Uh, then why make the man's the means of just helping? Devil. It's his nature. He needs to get his due. I don't believe the devil cares about the fate of the world. I won't pretend he's an altruist. Hmm. But he's looked at the balance sheet. No world, no souls. And it's hard to get leverage on an illithid. They make terrible clients. Yeah, that's fine. I doubt it. But even if you do, you won't survive the fight. I'd reconsider if I were you. Nope. Remember our vow to keep one another safe. You have a key. We are not staying in a brothel. It's got private rooms, music, and all round pleasant folks, from what I've heard. And if a patron confuses me for a member of staff, <laughs> probably break. Looking for lodgings? Don't bother. All the decent places are gone. Damned coronation. 
Oh, I wanted to budge in on the conversation. Actually act like a dick. Wait, what? Really? Okay. These are uh, some rather nice arrows. Ooh, I wonder, throwing a narrow transposition over down there, that'd be cool. Wait, there's a lot of people here. Okay, never mind, there's a lot of people co going over there to, to see the view, I guess? Is this their uh, script for like, oh, uh, let's uh, make people walk around near the the player. Okay, let's try and... Ah, uh... oh, there isn't much... Oh, okay, I actually need to go up there. To where I'm crossing. Come on. There is some nice chests over there. Uh, we need to find the other one, right? Then we need to kill. Let's just go in here and do a long rest. We're gonna talk with the other one. Right? Yeah, but will. Come on, we saved you down there. Please introduce me to your friends. Fina, Cirrus, Arbiters for the Hells, Exemplars of Justice. Your parasite links with Wills, and your memories flow into him. He sees his father's flight from Worm's Rock, and hears Mizora's words to you. Shit. Where did Gortash send my father? How do I save him? Sisters. Infernos contractos te vocamos. Infernos contractos te vocamos. Infernos contractos te vocamos. Your contract, Will. Signed in blood, forged in fire, bound in bone, but not unbreakable. What are you proposing? A life for a life. No contract is ended without sacrifice. The cost must be paid. Will Ravenguard, a choice is before you. Option one. I show you the way to your father. I guarantee him no harm except that from you and your allies. And you pledge your soul to me and the Archdevil Zariel in a pact eternal. Option two. I break your pact and you are freed from your duty. Your father dies by his enemy's hand and Baldur's Gate loses its greatest champion. Name your sacrifice. Bloody Zariel. I won't let her take Will. Silence, Karlak. Mizora, you asshole. Choose. 
We saved her life. Jesus Christ. Do the right thing. Give her soul so that your father can live. Break the pack. We'll use her your freedom. When the city is free, you can take us. But I mean, he's a devil. He's turned into a devil. That's not gonna work. Uh. Addendum F. The Absolute must be avenged for the Soulbinder's detention at Moonrise. The Soulbearer retains his gifts until such time as the Absolute is slain. Okay, at least that. Okay, uh, do the right thing. Give your soul so that your father can live. So if your father will, the city will lead him to open build. Do the right thing. Damned wretch. Do it then. Claim my soul for Zario. Keep my father safe. Fiat Ita. Fiat Ita. Anima ad beator. a new mission pup go save your father he's locked in a very nasty place gortash's secret command center and prison lucky for you i know the way in i'll mark your map after all a deal's a deal you know what i think i'll stick around not for the greater good you understand just for the entertainment just for that i just probably would not mind you know giving Raphael the crown just to piss her off make her this little bitch okay yeah jahira she probably should have been with us there all right we need to talk to him twice mazoris held my feet to the fire and twice was i burnt but my father will live. We will return the Grand Duke to his people. And forever a devil's leash will choke me. It wasn't much of a sacrifice. We're already packed it, right? But my soul belongs to a far more fiendish villain now. The Archdevil Zariel. Karlak can tell you what evil she's capable of, what brutality she's wrought. She could raise me as a war devil and loose me on the coast. She could name me a patron and bid me collect souls for her cause. My pact ends at death, and Zariel may want more than just fodder for her front line. Well, that's enough self-pity for one day, if anything. I should be elated that there's hope yet for my father. We should hurry to this mystery prison and retrieve my father before Mazora tries pulling more tricks. Yeah, probably. We bound to anger Gortash if we go messing in his prison. Gortash is the Black Lord's thrall. A liar, a tyrant. He'd sooner have our heads than share his domain. His anger is inevitable. I didn't sign this pact just to let my father rot in Gortash's prison. This prison's in the lower city. Let's move. Okay, fine. I can still feel the shadow fell all over me. I still hear her words in my ear. I feel... Unclean. I'm sorry. You 
you've nothing to be sorry for. Far from it, in fact. Without your help, things could have ended very differently for me. I have an idea. Something I've wanted to do for a while. Something that might help me put her in the past. But I'll need your help. Of course. Wait until the others are asleep. Then come with me. There's a place we can go. Okay. Down the coast a little. A little date, another one. I hope you're here to discuss that contract you just signed. Agreeing to give away our greatest hope of salvation wasn't the wisest of moves. I didn't agree. According to Raphael, the crown destroyed an empire. Yeah. And handing it over to a devil will be a way to prevent it. Come now, you're many. I didn't. But never that naive. I promise you, whatever outcomes we're hoping for in this world-ending endeavor of ours, letting that devil get hold of the crown must not be one of them. Of course not. No. What we should be pursuing is knowledge. We need to learn more about that crown. <laughs> of course, no sorcerer more. Sundries. Their book collection is the envy of the Sword Coast. I'm certain the truth lurks somewhere on their shelves. We've we've seen this. Sound like the yeah, next one. Yeah, okay. Right ha! Sorcerer's Sundries is no mere trading post. We've already had this conversation, I think. Community for centuries. Their collection of rare tomes is unparalleled. <laughs> Nethery sex are hardly commonplace, but I'm certain they'll have one or two stashed away. You'll have to forgive my eagerness, but if my suspicions prove to hold water, this could be the answer to all our problems. Okay. Um... Where is the... Where are the buds? Would we sleep on a wooden bench? Oh, okay. In the water, yes, of course. Why so much? Why did it? Can I not pick one onion out of that? Not this, but without... Come on, I picked something. Yeah, there you go. This will do. Get in the water. I didn't bring anything to swim in. Neither did I. Okay, come I see. Then. We've already come this far. Yeah, and that's being cut. My feet aren't touching the bottom anymore. It's terrifying. Do people really enjoy this? <laughs> he can't even stay above water. <laughs> can't stay above water. Until I was in the water to hold me. Come here. <laughs> Thank you. I needed that. I needed to know I can face things without Shah. 
I don't want to go back. Not just yet. Now don't you dare stop. Okay. Doesn't help that they do that. Ah. <laughs> Uh, okay, let's, uh, leave camp. Okay, then. I think that's gonna be it for this video. Yeah, it's been a while. So if you've been enjoying the little adventure that we've been having, uh, do leave a like, drop a comment down below, and subscribe. And we'll see you on the next one.